Then we have the sun square Uranus, and that is um, it, that is disruptive energy. A square is is causing you to do something. Um, Uranus is going to make you believe that you have no idea it's coming because it's it's Uranus is 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 meant to shock. It's meant to um, awaken you. It's meant to um, a lot like the stone. It's 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 you know that I had for this week. Um, it's meant to show you things or or get you to see things that are um, different, uh, revolutionary, shocking even. So, and and with it squaring the 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 sun, which is, you know, your your vitality has a lot to do with that sun. So, this could be a, a hit to your your vitality. So, any sicknesses that you might have, you know, get them addressed. This is not the time to go, ah, maybe it'll go away. If it seems possibly to be serious, it's this is a good time to make sure you're you're checking in on on that. Yeah, it can be a bit of a spanner in the works at times, particularly with the square aspect. Like Donna said, the sun is our vitality. It's interesting that we've just had that Venus Kazemi. So prior to the Sun Venus conjunction, we had venus square uranus and the sun moves on and you know because venus is going backwards you know there's a little bit of difference venus is back at 18 degrees leo at this time uranus is at 23 so it takes a while for the sun to come up and uh square this but it's interesting uranus i've heard it said too can often bring freedom you know there's that revolutionary aspect and what do we have revolutions for but to free ourselves of oppressors or some type of oppression so you know maybe this will be somehow involved with those venusian matters maybe they won't it's certainly happening all in you know the house of leo uh because we've had both venus and uh sun in leo at this time so yeah whatever's happening with the leo house and perhaps the house that has Taurus and Libra in your chart, you know, this may have something to do with it as well, you know, simply because we've got that Venus retrograde happening at the same time. And this is just on the back of that several days afterwards, but on the back of that Venus Kazemi. So yeah, maybe some sort of freedom, maybe, you know, you wanted to do this and the partner's resistant or vice versa and maybe a compromise is reached which is still agreeable to both of you or you know something that frees you up or you know a good compromise yeah maybe though when I think of Uranus I don't think of compromise so yeah no just a little bit of shock mm, yeah and these are fixed signs, so fixed signs aren't awfully fond of change. Some people will deal with it better than others, but yeah, you know, this could be just something just, you know, it's the sun, so the sun moves very quickly every day. It could be a day where things just, nothing goes right. And that's the last aspect. Then we have a sneak peek at the new moon in Leo. Oh, nice. Mm. 